20 years ago, the rule was the business of business is business. But that didn't truck so well with a bold group of trailblazers who decided to cut against the grain. Nope, no way, no how was the refrain. You see, something's missing from this equation. Now's the time to rise from this fever dream and let ourselves renegotiate the non-negotiable. Yeah, you see, we gotta find our frequency come together and find our center. Like that, Dreamforce was born. Two decades later, while some businesses continue to navel gaze, it's the same old dance and song. Some look away to other places and their empty displays. Well, we say it's time for an even better verse where customers and planet are at the center. Now hear me out. What if there was a place, a place where values are the operating system and innovation is the code? A place created by and for trailblazers where there's always a seat at the table for the willing and the able. A place where trust is earned at hello and howdy. Empowered with the platform to navigate the horizon of a new economy, connections become magical, genuine, one-to-one, -one, not one-size-fits-all, so that relationships run deep and bloom into wow. Customer success, that's our North Star. Paradise once lost, is found. No, you see, the business of business is so much more than business. I want to thank you all for making this world better. For coming together and always finding our center. Those are green lights up there, Trailblazers. You see them? Mm -hmm. Let's go out and catch them. Welcome to Dream Force. 20 years strong. Please welcome co CEOs, Salesforce, Mark and Brett. My favorite part of Dreamforce every year is not just being here, but the lead up to it. I've watched all of your tweets, people traveling from miles away. How many people traveled internationally to get here? Isn't that amazing? This is a family reunion. I mean, how many years overdue is this, Mark? This is well, incredible. I'm just so happy we're just all back together, you know? It just feels so good to be back. Does it feel good to be back? Am I right? Yeah. I mean, so every yeah. year, Mark and I go on the road. We travel the world. We've been to Ugh, all exhausting. over the world. Yeah, it's been <laughs> exhausting. And we give a version of this keynote to all of you and get feedback so that we don't lay an egg when we come here in real life. It was interesting. Every time we talked to a trailblazer, they said one thing, which is, this is the great reunion. We've been dying to get back together for the past three years. Yes. And we've been to user groups. Uh, we've been online. We've been streaming on Salesforce Plus. But Salesforce is not Salesforce without Dreamforce. Yeah. And th what a perfect title this presentation. Well, it was. This is I, a great I, I wish I had written it, but really, <laughs> it was those New York City MVPs. Where are you, New York City MVPs? Stand up and be recognized. Stand up and be recognized for writing the title. There she is. Wrote our title. Thank you. Unbelievable. And they say, you know what? They said, yes, it's a new day for customer magic. Yes, it's the next generation of CRM. Yes, it's all about the future. But the most important thing 
is that we're all back together as trailblazers. This is number one. Nothing is more important than that. That's absolutely right. Salesforce is not a company. Salesforce is a community. And we would not be here for all, except for all of you. And it's, it's amazing. This is amazing. That's right. Well, we, you know, look, we're here to entertain. We're here to inspire, to energize, to motivate, to reconnect. But what are we really here to do? We're here, most of all, to say thank you. It's the first time you've had to tag team that line. Well, How's you know what? I thought it would be nice if I kind of gave it to you. you know? <laughs> it was like a little awkward Cosio marriage moment going on right here. It's all yeah. good. It's all good. Don't worry about it. I mean, can we just start with a few thank yous? If you are an MVP, can you stand up and be recognized? <laughs> hey, this is San Francisco. That's all right. <laughs> okay. Stand up if you're an MVP and be recognized right here. Amazing. Stand up if you're a ranger and be recognized. Stand up, our rangers. Where are you, rangers? Stand up, rangers. Woo! Welcome all our MVPs, all our rangers. We are so happy to have you here. Mark, I have a different one. Yeah. If this is your first ever dream force. If this is your first ever dream force. Will you stand up? Is stand this up if this is your first ever dream force. Wow. This is incredible. Our community is getting a lot bigger. Yeah. Incredible. Welcome to everybody to your first Dreamforce. I mean, How do you like it so far? Is it all right? <laughs> <laughs> what is this Dreamforce thing anyway? How do we get here? Well, Mark, it's yeah. a new day, right? I mean, we've been working from home, working from coffee shops, uh, Zooming, Slacking, and we're in a new day. We're not, it's a new day for Dreamforce. It's a new day for business. It's a new day for the environment. Um, and for me, that's really what this keynote is all about. You know, how do all of us as trailblazers embrace this new day? Well, I couldn't be more excited to have everybody here and working on this keynote for the last couple of months and being on the road with everybody and seeing hundreds of our customers and knowing that we we're going to end up on this stage and do this presentation I mean, this has been really motivating to us, and I, I have a clicker in here somewhere in my pocket. Here it is. <laughs> and uh, well there's a well-oiled slide. machine up here. Well-oiled machine. This means machine. I have to do a slide, and the slide says, we're going to do an incredible presentation for everybody. Yeah. We're going to talk about Dreamforce. We're going to talk about business. We're going to talk about the environment. We're going to talk about trailblazers. Anybody trailblazers here? <laughs> Everyone who's first Dreamforce, you're like, What's a trailblazer? What's an MVP? What's a ranger? And then we're going to go on, we're going to talk about work, and we're going to talk about Customer 360 and the incredible new technology that our teams have been doing. And I, I've never been more excited about Dreamforce. So. I haven't either, Mark. Should we get this show on the road? you want to take us away? I'm ready to go, Brett. Let's great do job. It. Thank you. Please welcome and thank Brett Taylor. I don't know if I remember how to do this, really, so I'm going to have to give it my best shot. Anyway, look, this is a new day for Dreamforce, okay? This is a new day for Dreamforce, and as we have been going around the country, around the world, talking about this amazing conference that's happening right now, all of us coming back together, all of us getting motivated and inspired and energized around this amazing transformation that's happening in the world, you know, it just became clear to us it's a, it's a new day for Dreamforce. It was really interesting as we started to talk with customers and we started to kind of visualize where we were going on Dreamforce, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, one of our MVPs again said, you don't understand, Mark. You don't get it. You don't understand what's really about Dreamforce this year. So what's that? They said, this is the most important Dreamforce ever, the most important, because we are coming back together. We're showing we're getting this back together. We're all one family. This is our family reunion. Doesn't this feel like an incredible family reunion? I mean, it's awesome. Now, we've got a great show put together for you. First of all, we have a thousand sessions over the next three days, and we have worked really hard on these thousand sessions, so we expect you to go to each and every one of them, okay? <laughs> all right, thank you for that. We have 140 other companies along with us this week. And we have 150,000 attendees, 40,000 on site right here. You know, we would love to add in even more, but we're so completely sold out. And we have an incredible slate of speakers, probably the best we have ever 
had. I could not be more excited about that. This has been the most important Dreamforce ever. It's sold out. And as part of that, we've been thrilled that we're able to give back to our city. You know, we know that giving back is really our purpose. That's what we're doing. Yes, we're creating, creating great technology. We're reconnecting everyone. We're energizing everyone. But we're here to give back. And yesterday, we gave another $25 million to our local San Francisco and Oakland public schools. It's uh, over $100 million just for our local San Francisco and Oakland public schools through Dreamforce. That's amazing. And uh, there's some other great things coming I want to get excited to tell you about. It's our most sustainable Dreamforce as well. And I'll tell you, you know, being in the public schools, I got to go yesterday to Presidio Middle School. It was about 10 years ago. I just walked a few blocks. I just walked a few blocks from my home and I realized I could adopt a public school. I can adopt a public school and knocked on the door of the principal, door open. Everybody likes that when I did that. Door opens, we oh, door opens. And um, I said, how can I help you? And they said, who are you? <laughs> then I, <laughs> Mark Benioff, did ever sales for, oh, okay, sure, come in. And I kind of looked around and like, oh, maybe we could do a new playground here, maybe there's this or that. Kind of got a big vision, you know, really thought about where are we going? Where are we going with these public schools? And I came back, talked to our management team, and I said, I think all of us can adopt a public school. I think, that, how hard is that? All of us are going to walk a few blocks from our homes. And Salesforce adopted 130 public schools around the world. They're adopting more. And I think all of us know, for our kids, there's nothing more important than our public schools. I'm certainly a product of public schools. Brett is a product of our local public schools here in the Bay Area and our public hospitals. And next, tomorrow night, <laughs> Wednesday night, we're going to do another $7 million for our local public hospitals in San Francisco and Oakland, and we've given them through Dreamforce over $106 million. How about that? <clears throat> and I'll tell you, if you're not here, or you're joining us online, or if you are here and you think about all the people who are not here, who you want to bring this content to, you want to, hey, I want to bring this back to my company. I want to bring this back to my team. I want to bring this back to my CEO. We want to get on the road and do Dreamforce to you. We started this a couple years ago when we couldn't have this conference. Now we realize we need to do both. We need to have the big Dreamforce conference like we're doing. And we also need to come directly to you. We want to do 100,000 Dreamforces. And the way that works is I'm doing 50,000 and Brett is doing 50,000. <laughs> okay, we're going to come directly to you. You tell us exactly what you want. You can send us an email, you can talk to your account executive, and we're going to do this. It's going to be really cool. So I want to welcome all of you. I see these are our friends from Japan are here. Stand up, everyone from Japan who came in. That's amazing. I'm looking at all these great... Wow. Wow. Oh, whoa, whoa. Ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu. Otsukare sama deshita. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming here. Okay, we have got a lot happening. But we realize that a lot has happened. A lot has happened. And now we have to kind of think about, you know, the Japanese, they have a great word, shoshin. Shoshin. Have you ever heard that word before? It's the Japanese word for beginner's mind. And when the Japanese say shoshin, and maybe you can talk to our Japanese friends and they'll explain it to you more clearly, it means, you know, we need to have a beginner's mind, especially when it's a new day like this. And it means a beginner's mind has every possibility, but the expert's mind has very few. So how do we have shoshin? How do we recultivate our beginner's mind. When it's a new day for business, we have to start to think about Shoshin, our beginner's mind. What do we really want? What do we really want? What is really important to us? How will we get it? What is preventing it? What is preventing us from having it right now? And how will we know that we have it? You know that's our V2 mom formula. So Shoshin, it's our beginner's mind. It's about the V2 mom. It's about thinking about what do I really want? What is my dream? What is all of our dream? We're trailblazers. 
This is Dreamforce. It's okay to have a dream. It's okay to say, what do we really want? What do we want for Salesforce? Okay. What do we want for our industry, for our community? Yes, our schools. What do we want for our families? What do we want for ourselves? It's also important to ask, what's really important? What are our values? What's guided us? What is our most important value? When we think about our obstacles, what's preventing us from having trust or equality? What's preventing us from having sustainability? At Salesforce, our vision has been crystal clear from the time that Parker and I started the company. We want to connect with your customers in a whole new way. We want to help you to connect with your customers in a whole new way. We want to build this incredible customer 360, and you're going to see this amazing new version of it today. We have never been more excited to show you what has happened in the last two years with customer 360. And as we think about our intention, and for our Japanese friends, our ishi, our vision, where we're going, we also think about our values. What's important to us? Trust, customer success, innovation, equality, sustainability. And I hope that you'll see Salesforce be highly aligned with these values, not only through this conference, but as who we are as a company and how we act and how we behave and how we move forward with our vision. Now, I'll tell you that together as a community, we've achieved a lot of incredible things. As trailblazers, we have achieved so much together. Of course, we've created an incredible business. Look at that, Salesforce number one CRM. That's amazing, congratulations for everything you've done to create this amazing business. But, not only did you create a successful business, you also made sure that customers were successful. This is our highest value, that we did it with customers in mind, and we achieved this high level of customer success. And by doing that, by having this vision, oh, there's one other thing that happened this quarter. Now listen, I have a lot of esteem for SAP. A lot of esteem for SAP. Amazing company started 50 years ago in 1972. Incredible company, team, products. They had a great quarter this, this quarter, seven and a half billion. We had a larger quarter, 7.7 .7 billion. That means Salesforce is now the world's largest enterprise apps company. Amazing. The world's largest enterprise apps company, never been able to deliver this slide before. And we continue to deliver growth all the way to $31 billion this year. And we did it with our values and philanthropy and innovation and culture, widely recognized as one of the best places to work. But because Parker and I made this kind of very unusual decision about a quarter century ago, we decided to put 1% of our equity 1% of our product and our profit and 1% of all of our employees' time into a 501c3 public charity. It was very easy at the time, because we had no employees, we had no product. You've heard this joke before? Yeah, it's an old joke, but it still works, actually. But it's amazing to see a half a billion dollars in grants so far to our local communities, seven million hours of volunteerism that we've been able to achieve so far. Incredible. 50,000 nonprofits and NGOs running for free on our service. Incredible. If you're with a nonprofit or NGO, stand up and be recognized. If you're a nonprofit and part of this program, stand up, nonprofits and NGOs. Where are you? Stand up. Be recognized. We see you out there, all of our nonprofits. You know, you're going to find a lot of nonprofits here. We want you to support them and help them. And our commercial customers have done so much to make sure our nonprofits are successful. But one of the other cool thing is 17,000 other companies have also joined our 111 program. Awesome. And we are also now a net zero company with 100% renewable energy. And we're going to talk about why that's so important as we look about the world today. We've been through so much in the last two years. And I'm so proud of our company and all of you and how we really were able to take this incredible challenge directly head on. All of the amazing things that were achieved and especially what our nonprofit customers did during this time. We watched the incredible giving that was happening as we all kind of directly addressed this problem so that we could kind of get back and actually get back our lives. And here we are. You know, it was a great separation. 
We didn't enjoy being apart from all of you. Well, we want this conference every year and other conferences all over the world so that we can be together, so that we can be connected, so that we can be one. But we've all come so far. We've all come so far. It's now the great relocation, the great, the great, the great resignation we saw. We saw the great reshuffling, the rethinking, the, the great reimagination. We saw us have a great renegotiation with ourselves, with our families. And, well, I think we've all had a good look at our environment. Had a lot of talks on the last couple months with all of you, and you've had a lot of stories about the, how the environment is changing and how it's affecting you personally. We, we started a couple years ago now, since we are all together, the great reforestation, the great rege regeneration of our planet. There's so many things that are happening that we want to talk to you about at the conference. We're so happy to have the conference so we can talk about this. We, we do, we see it, it's a new day for the environment. It's a new day for the environment and we do, we all have these incredible stories. For us, the story starts with the ocean. We love the ocean, I hope while you're here in San Francisco you have an opportunity to go out and see the ocean and you're gonna hear about some incredible new things for the ocean and we're scaling up our ocean research program, we're making a major new $80 million gift to our friends at the University of California, Santa Barbara as part of this amazing conference. And I'll tell you, we saw that there's some real challenges in the ocean. Coral bleaching. We saw overfishing. Yeah, we saw a lot of really interesting things. We saw exciting things, trying to preserve 30% of the ocean by 2030. But we also saw that the ocean is getting a lot hotter that that seems to be the cause of a lot of, our, a lot of our concerns around the ocean. The ocean is getting hotter, and as we go around, why is the ocean getting hotter? Well, the ocean is getting hotter because it's the world's largest carbon sink. 20,000 gigatons of CO2 are stored in the ocean. 3,000 in the soils, 200 gigatons per trillion trees. And if you go to Hawaii, on the big island of Hawaii, where Dan Yakaka is, and you'll find on the Mauna Loa volcano some equipment set up by Charles Keeling in 1958. It measures the amount of CO2 in the environment. That's how we know how much CO2 is there. And you can see it, that there's more CO2 in the environment. And this is getting measured every day, and we can see this over decades. And this CO2, well, some of it comes down into the ocean. Some of it comes down into the trees. That's photosynthesis. CO2 turning into O2. Learned that, I think, in third grade. <laughs> now it's useful in this keynote. <laughs> and, of course, when we burn coal and we burn oil, that releases CO2. When we burn trees, that, burns, that also delivers CO2. Trees are a carbon sink, so when you burn the trees, the carbon goes back up. And this is the carbon cycle. You know, carbon isn't created. Humans don't, aren't creating carbon. I kind of use it as a party trick. I go around, I'm a fun party guest, and I'll say to people, well, hey, how much carbon do you think there is being created in the last 10 years? And they'll give a number, this number, that number. I'm like, no, nope, we don't create carbon. We're just really good at moving it all around. And we're moving all this carbon around, and we can sequester it, and we can release it, and maybe we're releasing too much of it. And that's what's going on. It's getting in the atmosphere that makes the air hotter, it goes into the ocean, makes the ocean hotter. So how do we sequester the carbon? Well, a couple years ago, we came up with one thought, why don't we plant a trillion trees? We used to have six trillion trees on the planet. We've deforested half our trees. Now we have three trillion trees. We only have three trillion trees left. Who's focused on planting a trillion trees? Oh, all of you. And you've made incredible progress in terms of our goal. We feel very confident by 2030, we will plant a trillion trees now. So thank you for that. Incredible. And we want you to be able to go back to your companies and join us in our trillion tree program. We've already planted ourselves 44 million trees. And our customers are joining us in this journey. We've even built technology you're gonna see at the show, our net zero cloud to help you monitor and manage your own CO2 in your companies. And you're gonna see our new net zero cloud. That's new since we all came together for Dreamforce. You're gonna see something else amazing, something I'm super excited about. You're gonna see an ecopreneur revolution. You're going to see folks like me, entrepreneurs, but who aren't focused on 
software technology, but they're focused on kind of the planet. They're focused on the environment. We call those ecopreneurs. Ecopreneurs. And you're going to meet a lot of these amazing ecopreneurs. There's a lot of them on the slide. There's even a company I love very much called Time on the slide, launching an amazing new comp uh, company here called CO2.com. It's the easy button for small and medium companies to go net zero. I think a lot of companies are going to invent the easy button for going net zero. We all have to. And we also will find a net zero marketplace that we've created that integrates with our net zero cloud. And that is going to help all of us to become net zero companies. Because look, we all have to go net zero. We have to reduce our emissions. We have to plant a tree in trees. We have to sequester. We need an ecopreneur revolution. This is our three steps for a greater environment. This is really important to us at Salesforce, and I'm sure it is going to become very important to all of us here, because it's a new day. And it's not just a new day here at Dreamforce and a new day for business, but it's a new day for all of you, for our trailblazers. We see that as we go around the world. 9.3 million new Salesforce jobs, $1.6 trillion Salesforce economy in our ecosystem. Isn't that awesome? And you can see it here with all these folks who are creating all this incredible value for their companies and the world. And you can see how it is expanding in partners and services and support and the app exchange and its incredible community of 17 million trailblazers, 2,100 community groups. You know what, if you're in a community group, would you stand up and be recognized if you're in a community group and part of a Salesforce community group? Stand up, please. We have some right here. I'll pick it up, good section. Stand up if you're with a community group. Right on. And where are we learning all these amazing skills? How are we becoming rangers? How are we learning about net zero? How are we learning about equality? How are we learning about V2 mom? We're learning about it on Trailhead. You're going to see Trailhead here. It's awesome. 57 million badges earned. Raise your hand if you have a badge on Trailhead. Raise your hand if you have a badge on Trailhead. And you're going to see some amazing companies who have really rolled out Trailhead for their whole organization and rolled out all these amazing skills. Now, at Dreamforce every year, we pick one trailblazer in this room that we know that's coming to profile one trailblazer, okay? They don't know who it is yet. We don't know who it is. Even I don't know, okay? So we're going to find out for the first time to profile this amazing new Trailblazer, let's take a look at this great story. When I arrived to the Netherlands, I was literally in shock. You don't know the culture, you don't know their language. They left everything behind. Where should I start? That was the first question in my mind. I was really lost. I, I was so hopeless, yeah, I must say. When I was back home, women didn't have a voice or rights. They had so many rules. So I thought I can express my feeling with art. Sharing a story about women's rights, about LGBT rights. They have the right to have a freedom. Government gave me one warning and I supposed to, you know, stop I was really scared. I was suffocating. I felt like I was in a prison. And then um, I managed to get out. <laughs> Refugees come with a very unique perspective towards the future. They have left many things behind. This makes them very driven, very enthusiastic. They have that extra kind of almost an X factor. Our organization helps refugees find roles in the Salesforce ecosystem, and we really think that Salesforce lends itself really well to being adopted by someone who is from a non-traditional background. I was a pharmacist in my home country, and now I was a housekeeper without any sense of direction. I would never have believed I would be a software engineer. I didn't know anything about computers, unless I just turned it off, turned it on. Gersberg <laughs> was the teacher and he started to go through trailhead. 
and in a way I got really addicted and I was like almost stranger in two months. Imagine you're a refugee who left your family and then all of a sudden you find a community that wanted to help and able to listen to you and advise you. You know, I felt home in the Netherlands because of them. They believed in us. When one of the team members came across Casper, they started talking about that they wanted to help uh, refugees and they wanted to train refugees. And we said, yeah, that's, that's a pretty nice idea. And when we met uh, Sima, yeah, it was very clear. She has this amazing, sparkling personality, which immediately energizes you and the team. She's also very ambitious. And she's not just a developer, she also takes all the rest into account. For me, Trailblazer takes the initiative to support others and in the same time think as one big community and really take steps forward. There is a challenge pushing you to continue the whole picture and you can always grow. It's very important for me to be who I am and do what I love. My name is Sima Samara and I am proud to be a Trailblazer. Please congratulate Seema Samara. Seema. Seema, I want to be able to give you a golden hoodie. So will you, here you go. Seema, thank you for everything that you have done and we're so happy to choose you and from the whole Trailblazer community to recognize you for your amazing personal accomplishments, but for also how much you've given back to others and how much you've done for the world. So can you just tell us a little bit about yourself and your experience? Thank you very much. I'm very excited to be here. Really, I appreciate it so much. I, I have never thought that I will be today in California because my Trailblazer story started very far away from my home country because I do have a big mouth, <laughs> as you see. And when my voice was too loud for the government, I was forced to leave my country. Uh, and I left the Netherlands and there I was so lonely and alone, homeless, and it was really difficult to build up a new life. And uh, yeah, I was pharmacist back home, and the only opportunity I got was a housekeeper. And until I saw an advertisement uh, for an organization that teach Salesforce for refugees. And I applied directly because there was no education or Dutch language required. All refugees are welcome to learn Salesforce. I took the risk and I went to the first interview. And there, everything changed in my life because they introduced me to a mentor, to Trailhead. And by the way, I really love Trailhead. Oh my God, it's just amazing. Like. <laughs> The course was only three hours a week, but I managed to do more than 300 hours on Trailhead. This is the power of Trailhead. <laughs> and also, uh, they introduced me to Salesforce community. I must be honest with you, that was the first time I felt home in the Netherlands because of this amazing Ohana family. Because of you all. Thank you. Because of this thing, because of the community, Salesforce community, we do it together. And because we believe in each other, I managed to get a job. And also, within only one year, I managed to buy a house in the Netherlands. Thank you all. Seema, you are inspiring. It's why we get up after a quarter century and do this every single day, because we know that you're out there and that uh, you have found us and we found you and you've given back to us and, and uh, so many others. And thank you for everything that you have done and we're so grateful. Thank you, thank very, you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please thank Seema Samara. Thank you. Seema, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, we're all trailblazers and we're inspired by people like Seema and her self-reliance 
as one of our core values at Salesforce. It's about trust, it's about customer success, it's about innovation, it's about equality, it's about sustainability, and you see how it all kind of comes together right there. It's amazing. And it's how we're helping each other. We're all connected, we're all reconnected in this incredible great reunion. It's a new day for work. And we need incredible new products and incredible new technology to make all this happen. We heard about Trailhead, that's an incredible new product that we are bringing to all of our companies to train all of our associates and our colleagues on this technology and on these core values. But there's one more thing. While we were all away over the last two years, we bought another amazing company. Another amazing company that has so much in common with Salesforce and was actually right next door. We looked out our window every day and there they were. And we saw them in our park. We went out to coffee with them. We went out to lunch with them. We said, wow, this is amazing new incredible product, Slack. And we love Slack. And it became an imperative for us to build this incredible trusted relationships to empower efficiency. And as Brett said, you know, we need new ways to work. We knew new ways to work because we're in the office, but we're also at home, we're on the road. We're, we're in many places. How do we bring all of this together? How do we take customer 360? How do we make it Slack first to be able to bring this incredible collaboration environment all together? Now you're gonna see it with this amazing demonstration. Please welcome to the Dreamforce stage for the very first time, Tamara Yeshua, Tamara. <laughs> Slack's mission has always been to make people's working lives simpler, more pleasant, and more productive. And that couldn't be more true than today. With some people going back to the office, some people working in a hybrid environment, and some people fully remote. But all of our customers are using Slack as their digital headquarters. They're using Slack as a digital headquarters to help bring people together to collaborate in a flexible, more inclusive, and more connected way. So we've been talking to our customers, and we've been asking them, what more can we do? How can we help you navigate this new future of work? So today, I'm here to announce some new enhancements that we're making to Slack. We're enhancing huddles to make co-working better and more effective, and we're announcing Slack Canvas. But instead of just talking about it and showing you some slides, I'm gonna actually show you a demo. Now, to do that, I would like to introduce our amazing demo team. They, they're gonna be here all day today showing us the live demos. So let's bring up our Slack instance. So we have on the left-hand side, for those of you who are not aware of Slack, on the left is all of our channels. And you see we have channels for all of our accounts, so every customer gets their own channel so that we can come together and make sure that we can support every customer effectively. And then you see team channels. Team channels is where we come together to align and to collaborate for everything that's relevant to everyone in the team and it's transparent to everyone in the team. I see that there is a new message in the account Acme channel. So why don't we go there? So now first let me explain what an account channel is. Account channel, you have AEs, you have customer success, product managers, SEs, whoever you need to make sure that we're doing the best we can for our customers and that we're reacting quickly in real time to whatever their needs are. So you might ask what's new? Well, what's new is on the right-hand side here. This is Canvas. This is a Canvas which is a persistent layer of information that you can go to to always see that's a complement to the real-time messaging of Slack. So a Canvas can be associated with a channel or you can just create a Canvas and share it in a DM or a channel. For those of you who know Quip, it might look a little familiar. We took Quip and we integrated it natively into Slack. Let's hear it for Quip. So what you have, let me go through what's in this, what's in this canvas at the top is all the people who are relevant to the channel, to the account. And then you have a video from one of the sales leaders 
talking about the account and you can play that video right from inside the canvas. You don't have to leave it. And then you can integrate with Customer 360. In fact, you can integrate with any system of record. And here we have an integration from Sales Cloud. We have an integration from Tableau, a visualization. We have with Service Cloud. So if there was an incident on this account, you can see what that latest incident was and you can integrate with your document management system here you've got a document from a google workplace and you can see a preview it right here and you can see a workflow so if you create workflows you can embed them in the canvas and then you can run them right from within the canvas you never have to leave the canvas you never have to leave slack to run your workflow so now think about a new ae that just joined this account they can go right to the canvas and get the most relevant information always at their fingertips. So I mentioned that there was a new message. There was a new message in this channel, so let's go take a look at what that new message is. It's a message from Sales Cloud. Sales Cloud is telling us that the opportunity stage was updated. And we see the team is already on top of it. They're in a huddle. So if people don't know what a huddle is, a huddle is a lightweight way of communicating live in a channel or DM. You can just jump right in a huddle to talk to your teammates. So if you see on the left-hand side, you can see that a huddle is happening on the Acme account. So what do you think? Should I join the huddle? OK, I'm going to go ahead and join the huddle. It's super simple. All you do is click this toggle right here, and you're in the huddle. So. Huddles are audio first, that hasn't changed, but what's changed is you can now turn on video. So here we have the Account Acme team, Dylan, Tim, Kate, Karen, and Gus, and Astro and Parker is our special guest. So happy to have all of you and everyone is coming together to make sure that we can do the right thing for our customer. So Dylan, what's the status? Hey Tamar, perfect timing. We got a great call with Acme. So now we're huddling as a team. Now we're going to take a look at the account together. Let me share my screen. So you can share your screen in a huddle. In fact, multiple people can share their screen. And uh, so uh, Dylan, what, what are we looking at here? So right now we're looking at the health of Acme and we have a great relationship with them. They're looking really strong and Einstein is also telling us that they're expanding. So this is a perfect opportunity to engage with them about this. So as you can see, you can draw on the screen to make the meeting more effective. Oh, I totally agree that this is a great opportunity for us. So uh, anything else? Oh, one more thing. We're also logging all of the notes inside this canvas. So there is a canvas that you can attach to a huddle and everyone in the huddle can collaborate on that on that canvas and take notes together. So we see Tim has already added some notes in here and I see that there's a next step that they want to ask me to join Acme for a, a meeting. Well, I'm super excited and very game and I am ready to jump right in. So we added effects into huddles to make it fun and to help people feel more connected. Aw, thank you, Tim. So with that, um, I'm going to let you all get back to servicing the Acme account, and I'm going to get back to the keynote. And you see when I leave the huddle, in the, in the channel, there is a thread which has everything that was in the thread in that huddle. How many times have you been on video calls, somebody shared a deck, and you can't find it afterwards? Well, the thread, I have to say this is also one of my favorite features of huddles. So the thread will always be there in channel, and the canvas that you worked on in the huddle, you'll get a preview in the channel. So if you're in the channel, but you couldn't make the huddle, you can see the preview from the canvas, you can see the thread. So Huddles is, the Huddles co-working is rolling out live today to all of our customers. And Slack Canvas will be available next, next year. Sorry about that. Uh, and in addition, we have 15 new Slack and Customer 360 integrations. So you can close deals faster with the Sales Cloud integration. You can resolve incidents faster with the Service Cloud integration. And for automation, flows that you create in Salesforce, you can run in Slack. Back to you. How about a great hand? How about a hand for Tamar? Thank you. Jessica, great job.
Amazing. How about that? Video, Whoa. audio, clip, Was that amazing? Slack. All right, please give Brett Taylor a huge hand and welcome him back to Dreamforce. Dreamforce to me is a celebration of all of you, our trailblazers. And it's a celebration of innovation. Because when I think of Dreamforce, it's about all of us empowering each other with the skills that we need to go back to our organizations and connect with our customers in whole new ways. But there's a story, I think many of you in this section right here actually, who after a keynote much like this, with maybe fewer sound effects, cornered Parker Harris. Do you remember this? And you said, Parker, that flashy keynote was great, but what have you done to make all the things you launched last year better? It's about, yeah, see some clapping? Well, that created one of my favorite Dreamforce traditions, which is called True to the Core. There. We've integrated Flow with Slack, but I think this year we've done something even better. We've integrated our acquisitions. We are integrating our marketing cloud and our commerce cloud onto our core technology Slack stack. Isn't that great? Now, for those of you, there's a lot of new people to Salesforce and Dreamforce. I'm going to explain what that means. All of those low-code skills that all of you learn on Trailhead now enable you to be marketing and commerce trailblazers. You can add commerce to your sites with a click of a button. I have never been more excited about the strength of our core platform, and I have never been more excited about the pace of innovation at this company. Just look at this slide. This is the past 23 years of what Parker and Trini and David's teams have delivered to all of you, our trailblazers. It goes all the way back to the introduction of our app exchange so many years ago. Einstein artificial intelligence. When the smartphone just came out, we were the first enterprise platform to enable all of you to build mobile applications. And just a couple years ago in that lonely park in San Francisco, Mark and I announced Hyperforce. This pace of innovation is awesome. And it's more important than ever before because the technology around us is actually changing more rapidly than ever before. If you rewind when Parker and Mark were here in San Francisco 20 years ago, can you imagine that, Parker, 20 years ago? They were enabling all of you with a CRM in the cloud to build customer experiences on about 150 million PCs in the world. So let's fast forward to today, 2022. There are 15 billion smartphones in the world. There are more smartphones in the world than there are people in the world. We are more connected than ever before with each other and with our customers. And with that comes a ton of data. IDC estimates that the amount of data in the world is literally doubling every few years. And I could see all the engineers in the room sort of wincing. <laughs> There's a lot of challenges with that, right? There's also a ton of opportunity. And that's why we're here at Dreamforce. It's why we introduced Hyperforce. Hyperforce is Salesforce's trusted cloud platform. It enables you to deploy your Salesforce applications with data residency in 17 countries by the end of next year. And it has security, compliance, privacy, and scalability built in. It's also why flow is so important. Okay, so flow, for all of you not familiar with Salesforce, this is our workflow automation platform. It's about saving money, which is pretty relevant right now. All of you are doing over 44 billion automated workflows every single day. You are saving your organizations 109 billion hours and $2 trillion in savings. That's pretty incredible. Now let's talk about Einstein, one of my favorite characters in the Trailhead ecosystem, if I have to pick a favorite. Einstein is doing 175 billion predictions every single day. Now this can feel abstract, but it's not abstract at all. This is a personalized email. This is your customer talking to a chat bot so she doesn't need to talk to an agent and take their time, or even helping an agent get their answer more quickly so she can help your customer be successful. Customers today, in modern times are moving in real time. And despite all of these tools and technologies, many of you feel that you're not keeping up with the pace of customer expectations. When people walk in a store, they want it to be consistent with what they experience online. 
On average, most of the companies in this room have 976 different software applications just to keep your company running. In the face of all this new technology and all this new data, what did we do? We threw a lot of software at the problem. And 976 different applications means 976 different versions of me, your customer. And we feel it. We feel like we're a number. Things are moving in real time. New devices, data doubling, and the question is, how do we go from all of that data to really find our customers? How do we see our customers in the midst of all of that? And that's the challenge that we gave to our engineering team. What if we could bring all of your customer data together into a single source of truth? Not just the data stored in a Salesforce database, but the data in all 976 of those different applications. And what if your single source of truth was truly real time? It could stream data in, respond in the moment. And what if we coupled those technologies with artificial intelligence and automation so we could turn that real time data into true customer magic? Well, I am so, oh my gosh, what's that? I am so excited with what our engineering team has put together. I think this might be the most significant shift to the Salesforce platform since Parker was on stage over 20 years ago. I'm so excited to introduce today Salesforce Genie. Salesforce Genie is the real-time platform for customer magic. We've completely reimagined our CRM from the ground up to enable the real-time capabilities that will enable all of you to build applications that simply weren't possible before. Okay, so what is Genie? Let's start it with a view of our Customer 360 platform, the world's number one CRM. At the foundation, we have Hyperforce. And we built on Hyperforce our transactional database, our Einstein artificial intelligence, flow automation, and those are all powering what we call customer 360. Sales, customer service, marketing, and e-commerce. Well, with Genie for the first time in 20 years, we've added, added a foundational new capability to this platform. We've introduced a real-time hyperscale data platform, natively built into our platform. And because it's hyperscale, it's near infinite scale for all of your data. And because it's real time, you can stream events in real time, and every aspect of the platform on top just got real time as well. Einstein can personalize in milliseconds. Flow automation can respond to real time events and automate all of your real time workflows for your employees, for your customers, and your partners. And every single cloud in the customer 360 just got real time as well. So how does it work? Well, first with Genie, it's all about the data. You can connect to all of your data. Your mobile app, your website, that connected thermostat, that can stream into Genie too. But it's not just about real time data sources. We can inject historical data sources, your proprietary data lakes, your transactional systems, and we can bring it all together into a single source of truth. But as I said, it's not just about data, it's about your customers. Genie has harmonization built in. What does that mean? We can resolve all of this data into a single view of the people behind it and create a real-time customer graph of all of your customers and all of their interactions with your business with privacy, consent, and compliance natively built in. And on that, we built amazing new ways to engage with your customers in real time, to do real time sales calls and sales bots, to do predictive customer service to prevent customer service cases from happening in the first place. And we've natively integrated into our platform so all of you can build amazing, magical customer experiences. This changes the game for CRM. Salesforce Customer 360 is the world's first real-time CRM.
I am so excited to show you this platform. Real-time sales means your customers can talk to a sales bot. Your salespeople can get real-time analytics to help them close deals. Real-time service means every agent is getting real-time answers to the question, empowering your customers with new self-service platforms. It's incredible. You are going to be able to build apps that you never thought possible before. We've integrated with the entire Customer 360, and we've also integrated with every single one of our industry clouds as well. Salesforce Industries package out-of-the-box workflows for all of your industries, from health to financial services to consumer goods. But the best way to understand Genie is to see it. And to show you a Genie demo, I'd like to introduce Sanjana Perulikar. Sanjana, take it away. Thank you, Brett. Now, there are CDPs on the market today that allow you to track and segment your marketing data for better campaigns. But your business demands much more than that. You need to bring the power of personalization at hyperscale to every single part of your business. Well, Genie's got your back. With the power of Genie, we've put real-time data into the Salesforce platform so you can build those personalized experiences that your customers crave across sales, service, marketing, and more. Sounds pretty great, right? Well, let's see it in a demo. Here we are in Salesforce Genie, and this is your command center for all of your data about your customer. Every segment, every activation, and every campaign that you have live. But how do we get here? Well, creating that customer magic, it all starts with data. And Genie makes it easy to connect to all of the data that you have, that massive amount of data, in minutes. And you can connect to any data, whether it's in the cloud or on-prem, you can connect to streaming data from sources like Amazon, or even legacy data using MuleSoft. Now, I'm talking patient data, HR data, telemetry data. You name it, and Genie can make magic happen. Now, once I've connected to all of my data, here's where it gets really interesting. An important innovation with Genie is the real-time customer graph. This graph takes all of that data you have and harmonizes it into one consistent format, creating that dynamic single source of truth that changes just as your customer does. And this isn't your average data warehouse either. Genie ships with pre-built APIs that were purpose-built for every single industry and ethical guardrails so you can tag and track your data and ensure that that customer information is safe. Now, the result of bringing together these billions of records across your entire business is simple. It's one clean customer record, a unified profile for your customer, Sophia. And in this profile, I can see everything I need to know about Sophia, from her affinities across our product profile, the way she's interacted with us across different channels, and what's contributing to the overall customer lifetime value. I can even see that real-time data streaming in, and it looks like Sophia just created a case. And Genie wouldn't be real-time if workflows weren't real-time, too. So let's see what workflow is behind this experience. Here we are in flow orchestration. And don't be fooled by the simplicity of this screen. There's a lot of power in here. This workflow is dynamic, which means that it changes just as the data about Sophia does. It's intelligent which means that Einstein is there to help us along the way with predictions and recommendations. And it's fully integrated, because we all know how important it is to integrate data across every single system that you have. For my admins and devs in the house, this is the power you have on the low-code platform. You can build these real-time workflows. Now, for my sales managers, my service managers, my data fam, let's see what this means for you. Within Sales Cloud, sales engagement just got real-time. Your sales managers can now get that real-time feedback when they're on a customer call or a video conference, those real-time insights. Now, that's hyper-personalized sales at work. For my service managers, this means that your reps can act on real-time data. For example, a fraud alert so you can take action and give that white glove experience to every single customer. This is a service cloud like you've never seen it before with real-time data. 
And for my data fam, this means Tableau is real time too. So if you're monitoring something very important like a cybersecurity threat, you can get that insight in real time and action on it right away. Now it has never been more important to put the customer at the center of everything that you do. So let's bring magic to customer experiences. Back to you, Brett. Isn't Sanjana amazing? That is an amazing demo. And I just love the way you could see the entire customer 360 in that demo. Genie changes everything. Genie is generally available today. Now here's the cool part about Genie. Genie is not just a product. Genie is a platform. Genie is open and extensible by design. For you data geeks out there, it uses what's called a lake house architecture. It's natively compatible with Snowflake. You can integrate it with Snowflake without copying your data around. It's natively integrated with all the first party advertising so you can activate audiences on all the ad networks you already use. And for those of you who have built your own proprietary artificial intelligence models, if you want to use Einstein, great. If you want to bring your own AI, it's natively integrated with AWS SageMaker as well. Many of you, you know, who aren't technical are wondering, what does real time really mean? Well, you've actually been experiencing it on your path to Dreamforce. Genie is powering the Dreamforce experience end to end, from salesforce.com, to Salesforce Plus, to every notification you've gotten in the Salesforce Events app. All of that is powered by Genie, every single one of those journeys. I have never been so excited about the future of Salesforce Customer 360, powered by Genie, the world's number one and first real-time CRM. It has transformed every part of the Customer 360, starting with Sales Cloud. Real-time sales mean you can deploy real-time things like bots for sales to help move opportunities along, which you'll see in some of the upcoming demos. It means that your sales reps are getting, actually getting insights from real-time activity that your customers are taking, so they actually understand what conversation they're going to have when they walk into that sales meeting. Real-time service means a couple of things. Number one, it means predictive service. By connecting all of your customer experiences, you can get in front of customer service problems. It also means that we're powering real-time experiences with customer conversation and bots so that all of those self-service capabilities are powered with all the data they need so that your agents aren't overwhelmed with in-person customer service experiences. And of course, there's Marketing Cloud Genie. With Marketing Cloud Genie, you can create a single source of truth of all of your consumer data. This is the world's best CDP integrated with the customer 360, end-to-end -end in integration with your entire customer experience. And then there's Commerce Cloud Genie. If there's one place where milliseconds matter, it's in commerce. You know the difference between someone abandoning that shopping cart and getting the real-time personalized experience they need to actually complete that transaction and get that order to their house. Now, of course, we can't be talking about data. We're not talking about Tableau. You can just open up Tableau and point it at Genie, and you'll get visualization. And then, of course, there's MuleSoft Genie. We talk a lot about really fancy things like API and real time. With MuleSoft robotic process automation, with the AnyPoint platform, you can integrate all of your data with Genie, from the green screen all the way to your new mobile app. This is a truly single view of your customer across all of your systems. And then there's Slack Genie. I love Tamar's demo. Because when you think about automation, you think about intelligence, and you think about real time, who are we serving? We're serving our employees and our customers. And with Slack, you can bring all of that real time information and all those real time uh, workflows together and find the stakeholders who can make decisions. This new Customer 360 platform is automated, intelligent, and real-time, so you can save money, save time, and grow your revenue. And I'm so excited to show all of you how some of our customers are taking this new platform and creating what I think are truly magical customer experiences. And we have two incredible customer stories to talk you through today of brands that I personally feel so attached to. And the first story we're going to tell is of Ford. 
And I was just realizing that, you know, the impact Ford has had on all of us. Ford is probably the reason all of us are driving automobiles right now, when they brought the automobile to the masses. And this is a brand that's reinventing themselves with the F-150 Lightning, with the Ford Mustang. Um, it's just an incredible story of an incredible American brand. And let's start with a film. The company really doesn't get serious about change until something happens to it. So I like to think of this as a refounding of the company. Yes, I did arrive at a very interesting time for Ford supply chain issues, the chip crisis. We're sitting smack dab in the moment of transformation and time is everything. The real revolution in our industry is what most people are missing, which is shipping software to the car. When Jim took the role of CEO, he set out the Ford Plus plan. There are two fundamental pieces in that lead with electrification and transformation through digital in order to actually deliver on that purpose. We need a partner that's in it with us. That is just as customer focused, just as value driven, just as focused on sustainability as we are with our trusted platform. That's what we've gotten with Salesforce. They've put in an army of people prepared to take on the challenge. We're rolling up our sleeves together. And what I love the most is I feel that they have as much love and care for our Ford brand as we do. And that's priceless. Wow. This company gets it and they're willing to put real resources behind building a new business. We're moving beyond the vehicles. We're absolutely laser focused on customers as the center of everything we're doing. We want 100% connectivity with them. The pressure's on us to add value to their life every time they interact with us, every second, every minute, that if we have that continuous loop adding value, they will stay loyal to the brand because they trust us. It's all about driving delight for our customers. And data is the lifeblood of that system. Lifestyle data, vehicle data. We want to have a single source of truth so that we can make customer-driven decisions and communicate in an effective way. We want to make it specific to them. To do that, we need that customer 360 view. The great magic of Ford from the very beginning is this democratization of transportation for both business and personal use. I picture the parts of our society in America that have been overlooked for so long. The small and medium business want to have the same chances to be productive and serve their communities as those who are much larger. We did so much to change this country, we get to do it again for the next generation. There can't be a more important time for us to ensure that we are building the best world for those that come and those who are here now. Salesforce signed up for that. With this transformation, we can really change lives. To tell you the Ford story, I'd like to introduce Taxina Yamano. What a remarkable video that underpins the transformation that Ford's going through right now. Electric vehicles, data from the car, to get closer to their end customer. Ford's using the entire customer 360 to reimagine marketing, sales, servicing, online commerce, and financing, engaging with their dealers and their customers. So our story, story follows a Ford customer. She's a longtime Ford customer. Her name's Katie. She owns an electrical services company and has a small fleet of Ford vehicles. Katie just bought herself her personal dream car, the Ford Mustang Mark E. She gets onboarding messages from Marketing Cloud Genie that helps guide her and get started on her very first electric vehicle. Now, as she's driving the car, Ford continues to engage with her and reminds her, sends messages like, hey, you forgot to charge your car after your long drive and it's low on juice. But how are they doing this? Well, they're using Customer 360, the first ever real-time CRM. Right here in Service Cloud Genie, you see a unified profile of Katie. It has her business relationship and her personal. 
It has all those onboarding messages, her marketing engagement history, and the signals from her Mustang Mark E. So Katie decides and she checks with appointment assistant, she schedules her upcoming service appointment. And just like that, this is the power of Jeannie, real-time activation has just occurred. What you see here is Ford is going to offer her an F-150 Lightning, so she can test drive that during her service appointment. She's going to try the electric vehicle for her business fleet. That then, she is, because she is so incredibly valued as a customer, they're going to actually bring her that loaner vehicle to her house with their field service. How about that for a powerful experience? All right. Nice. So on the day as she's engaging, um, the person who's delivering her vehicle, he has everything he needs in his app. Here, his day is intelligently optimized. He has all the information about the customer and all of the steps he needs to do to make that a great experience for Katie. So, after that event happens and she's had the loaner vehicle, Ford's going to send her a personalized offer. This offer is to upgrade her business fleet to electric. And she doesn't have to talk to a person because she's going to engage with the Einstein sales bot. The Einstein bot is answering questions, capturing data, and right here, being able to use the power of Einstein and Genie to make intelligent, real-time recommendations. Katie's excited to know that she actually can get that vehicle, those sets of vehicles, even faster because she's using Ford Pro's Fin Simple financing. That's pretty good. She really saw the cost savings, so she's going to go ahead and keep chatting with them. Behind the scenes, those bots are orchestrating. They're using that dynamic, unified profile to create that conversation that's personalized just for her. Now, in the background, they're also going to send that to the sales team. So let's go check out the sales team. They're in Slack, Ford's digital HQ, where they're following up with Katie's sale. Right here, you can see everything. The team is in the deal room, keeping up to date with the latest deals. Katie's in this deal, for example, they're being able to collaborate, bring that information in, and real time get any alerts for any crucial signals, like a customer or a potential, a potential buyer is on your product page. And just like that, all of the information is in Slack. OK, so what's going to happen here? They're going to send this particular deal for Katie to her preferred dealership. And they don't need to go anywhere, because right here in Slack, you have everything for, the, for Ford to connect directly with that dealership. They can even collaborate very quickly and join a huddle, check it out, because they're going to move that deal forward really fast. They're going to talk about the quotation and be able to send Katie all the things that she needs to close this deal. And looks like that loaner paid off because Katie's very excited. She's doing a dance. Look at this. We have just closed this deal. That is incredible. Now, what was a really difficult decision for Katie was made very easy with a seamless customer experience. Okay. So, now that she's eagerly awaiting the delivery of her fleet, she checks the Ford Pass app. And I'm going to take a moment here because Ford implemented what you see here, which is the where is my vehicle tracking. They did this with, and they reduced their touch points by 55%. They did this with the help of our signature success plan experts. And right here, they did it in under four months. Can you imagine what that is for your business? Okay, back to the story. So she's checking the status of her fleet, and right here, she gets a personalized offer. This offer 
It is powered by Commerce Cloud Genie, these hyper-personalized, curated experiences making it dynamic, specifically for Katie, in the app. She's able to pick accessories, she's able to pick even software services, like Visa, which is a job management solution that helps her manage her business. Now, when she goes ahead and she collects everything, she can check out and pick sustainable shipping because that's important to her. And there, she now has all the accessories that she needs to get ready for her fleet to arrive. The moment we have been waiting for, those trucks have arrived. In fact, that vehicle over there, that's actually Katie's, the F-150 Ford Lighting. So, Katie, get in. <laughs> Amazing, and as she gets in, she's greeted with the next generation of onboarding messages, right from within her car. Oh, oh, oh. I think that's a power outage. Katie, are you getting a message from within your vehicle? Power outage at the Moscone Center. Oh, I got this. All I need to do is plug in the F-150 Lightning and we've got a backup generator. And that is customer magic happening real time. She is getting the messages that she wants, where and when she needs it, and here we go. Woo! There we go. She's using her power electric car. Amazing. And that is how Ford is creating customer magic, using customer 360 powered by Genie that is automated, intelligent, and now real time. Back to you, bro. <laughs> What's up, Doc? <laughs> I uh, wanted to see how many rabbit puns we can get in our interview. So I'm so grateful to be here with the Chief Marketing Officer of Ford, Susie Deary. And Susie, thank you for letting thank us you. tell the Ford thank story. Thank you. And Great I, to be here. I apologize in advance for any bunny puns in no, this no, conversation. No, no. I'm good. celebrating Jeannie Susie, and I know you're one of the greatest marketers in our industry. You've worked for all the greatest companies, so now you're at Ford, and we're excited to have you here at Dreamforce as well, so welcome. Thank you, we're absolutely honored to be here and thank you for all the support that you all have given us. Well, I was gonna ask if the F-150 Lightning truly has enough power to power Moscone, but instead, um, <laughs> it, we, we saw an incredible story of transformation, yes. also an incredible story of storytelling around your brand. How has Salesforce helped you and helped Ford uh, create magical customer experiences and make this transformation? Well, I mean, it started by one really focusing on the customer. Because if you know in the past for an automaker, especially 119 years old, it really was about the product. It was always about get job, done, job one done and then move on. And so taking a step back and really understanding the customer, everything that you've talked about today as far as the importance of that customer 360. Salesforce came in, not only did they start to show us what we could do out of the gate, but really show us the future and the vision of the experience we truly want to create both for our Ford retail customers and our Ford Pro customers. And they've been amazing. They've been literally the army that came in to make a lot of that happen in a very short period of time. Four months is the first time we got our first use case off the ground, which is quite incredible. incredible. Well, Susie, thank you yeah. so much for being a Dreamforce. And thanks for powering Dreamforce. <laughs> of course, it's amazing. Of Could you believe that it? That was good, right? What yes. a great product you have. It and I love my Mach-E and can't wait to get a Lightning. So if you could advance me on the I'm on the waiting know. list as well. Well, I mean, Jim doesn't seem to want to move me forward. I'm getting a little bit annoyed. <laughs> well, I know. You'll get, you'll get right. one. We thank definitely you. are stepping up production. It's well, thank you, Susie, demand. so thank much. You. It's so great to have you. Great to see you. Great to see you. Thanks, y'all. Mark. Yes. Wasn't that an incredible story? Yeah, it was awesome. Well, we're just getting started because we have another story to tell. Oh, wow. Um, to, right. Well, to I'm going to go back and have a few carrots and you take it over. <laughs> okay, okay, that's great. He's really not really filling his side of this Cosio bargain here from my perspective. Um, so the next story we're going to tell is of L'Oreal. Um, and as so many of us got together with 40,000 of our closest friends, beauty feels particularly relevant in this moment. Um, and I love the L'Oreal story. They have an incredible CEO named Nicholas, who's a friend of mine. It's a story of inclusivity. It's a story of technology in a new world of influencers and social media. Um, so let's start with the L'Oreal film. 
the world is changing so fast and technology is changing so fast that we have to continuously transform and adapt to the new world. The purpose of L'Oréal is to create the beauty that moves the world. Over the last 113 years, we have been going through many transformations. The one that really was a game changer for us was the digital transformation. You know, today's world is powered by tech and data and allow us to jump into a new era of creation, not solely of product, but product plus services. Allowing consumers really to have beauty experiences that they never had before. We have been digitalizing the beauty consumer journeys for a decade now because the consumers are digitalizing. E-commerce exploded and allowed us to reach our consumers everywhere around the world. We were very early in doing it. That gave us an incredible competitive advantage. Salesforce was the backbone of 200 plus D2C sites for us. During the COVID crisis, consumers could try our products online and then buy our products from their phone or their laptops. And we had fantastic market share gains, and that's due to great partners like Salesforce. Being powered by AI and tech capabilities, Beauty Tech is allowing us to create the ultimate personalization experience for consumers. Today, L'Oreal is the number one beauty company in the world. We have more than 35 brands. The biggest challenge is to create inclusive beauty at global scale. We have a century-long gold mine of data accumulated solely to beauty. Hair science, skin science, makeup, consumer routines. We need to make the most of this data to be around one consumer and to get the data from each and every one touch point at home, offline, online, in a seamless journey. I mean, we are powered by Salesforce Customer 360, bringing more personalization, more relevance, more satisfaction to our consumers in an ever-evolving and a complex beauty consumer journey. Beauty Tech is nothing less than shaping the future of beauty. Joining forces Salesforce and L'Oréal to create magical experiences for our consumers. To tell you the L'Oreal story, I'd like to introduce my friend, Sarah Franklin. All right, wow. You saw that L'Oreal knows that beauty is personal. And that's why they're using Salesforce Customer 360, powered by Genie, to create customer magic that is automated, intelligent, and real time. And what is their vision, you ask? is to unify all of their customer data across sales, service, marketing, commerce, to create a single source of truth of their customers. And this is so important for L'Oreal because in Marketing Cloud today, they have activated over 100 million contacts. That's 100 with an M contacts, that is incredible. So let's go ahead and show you a demo through the lens of a beauty influencer here today to Dreamforce. Please welcome Maya to the Dreamforce stage. All right, so Maya is an influencer and she cares about high-tech beauty and sustainability and she wants to find some products to share with her followers. So she goes to a commerce retailer's website, looks for some recommendations, doesn't really find anything. So she goes down, finds a phone number, confident that she can talk to somebody, share some insights with her. She gets on the phone and she gets put on hold. And there's supposed to be fun music, but that's okay. <laughs> so she waits. And waits. And I will stop the awkward moment in the room right now because we all know how this story ends. Maya gets frustrated. She abandons the process, maybe even leaves a negative review on social media. This experience is anything but magical but sadly, all too common. So let's go ahead and give this demo a rewind. And have L'Oreal give it a makeover. All right, here is where Maya spends her time. She is on social media. She loves seeing puppies going over the bridge. She loves seeing shopping that's sustainable. 
And right here in real time, she is targeted by Lori Al with an ad that is just right for her. This is the YSL Rouge Simisher. This is an incredible machine that I kid you not, it does custom lip shade creation in real time that matches any color that your heart desires. And it's sustainable because it means less packaging, less product, it's everything her heart desires. She's intrigued, so Maya adds it to her bag. Okay, but now, tell the truth here, raise your hand, have you ever added something to your shopping bag but then abandoned the experience? I know, Mary, yes, I see you, you've done that, you're laughing, I know, Charlie, I know you've done that too, Shauna, I got you. This is where it's so important to have Jeannie, because in real time, Jeannie sends a signal to their BFF Einstein and asks, what do you recommend right now, in this moment, in these milliseconds that matter? Einstein is on the ready with the answer, pops up an AI chatbot, recommends the trio shade that matches her preferences, even suggests a virtual try-on. So what do you think? Should Maya give this a virtual try-on right now? All right, Maya, let's go ahead and give that try-on. And so what you see right now is a real-time augmented reality experience for Maya to try that shade on. Okay, it looks lovely. She is sold. She is going to buy. And with order management baked right in, she can choose the sustainable shipping options that match her preferences. And with Salesforce payments, she can also one-click, buy that, and she has her YSL Rouge de Mature on the way. Okay, so that was just wow, customer magic, but I know you're wondering, how did this happen? So what do we do for Maya? How do we make this happen? Well, that's where it all begins with data. And if you look in Genie, you see what L'Oreal is doing. You see all of the data coming in across sales, service, marketing, commerce, even systems like SAP, thanks to MuleSoft. And you see the channels that are activated, how the media is being activated, what channels are doing the best engagement. This is all here in real time. And this is the insights that the teams at L'Oreal use to inform their decisions. And they're collaborating in real time in their digital HQ in Slack. So here in Slack, you have the marketing teams, the commerce teams, the customer service teams, even teams from outside their four walls working together. And that's because with Slack Connect, you can bring external people into the conversation. So the team's asking, how are things performing? And this is where Tableau Genie is on the ready with all of the insights with data stories. This is natural language telling you what's happening. Turns out, our channel engagement is going well, but our social is down. Okay, what do we do? Tableau Genie again on the ready, telling us let's create a campaign for the YSL Rouge Submissure, put it on social, and, pro tip, add an NFT for extra engagement. So how does the team do this? They jump into a huddle, they work on the creative, they use all of those incredible features that Tamar showed earlier. They can screen share, they can draw, they can collaborate. All of the fun that they have together to make that decision. Okay, so now the campaign is ready. Do they have to leave Slack to make this happen? You got the answer right. No, they do not. Another thing that Tamar shared, flows can be invoked right from Slack. This is a game changer because what you have here, invoke a flow to create a marketing campaign, give it the planning information, budget detail, channels you wanna activate, and that campaign is right now ready to go to get more customers in. Okay, that is incredible, and so now, we know that this is real time, this is the Dreamforce stage, that campaign is working, and so Maya has that product being, being delivered to her right now and she gets notified on her favorite messaging channel, WhatsApp. That's right, L'Oreal does not lose the conversation between social and messaging because they have a single source of truth of her. And this is connected right into the customer 360, so you have customer care agents on the ready to help. Sharing a video, this is how you set up the machine, this is how you put on the compact, this is how you install the cartridges, this is how you get it connected to your phone, to your app, to get it ready to go. 
Okay, so who wants to see a custom lip shade created right here on the Dreamforce stage? Leah, I see you, I know you want one. All right, Maya, let's go ahead and turn this on. And what do you want to, uh, I think that fingernail polish is lovely. Let's mix the shade up. I think pink is the new blue here at Dreamforce. So let's go ahead and select that shade. And let's go ahead and print it out. And right there, there's a custom shade being printed that she's gonna now put on. Let's see how it looks. All right, Maya, that looks great. That is awesome. But you know what, she's not the only one that gets to have fun. What happened is that actually now she created a custom filter on Instagram that she can share with her followers so more people can have this experience. So if you want to join me, I do need a little bit of fan participation for this one. So I'm going to try on the shade right now, this, this custom shade. Say hello, everybody there. Our MVPs give us a shout out. And now we can go ahead and take this and share this with our followers Everybody can do this as well. You see social lighting up. This is incredible. And this is how L'Oreal is creating true customer magic that is automated, intelligent, and real time. Back to you, Mark and Brett. All right. Great job. Brett, you forgot this. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay. As I said, I You're deeply regret ever meeting you. Um, okay, so... Hey, Jacob, can you grab me my uh, beers? I seem to have <laughs> forgotten them. Thank you so much. Look, uh, yeah. So, Mark... Um, Easter is going to be a lot more fun this Easter year, don't you Easter is going to be a lot more fun now that we have GD. Um, that was an There's incredible... There's a lot more we can do. I was thinking we could do Cadbury, we can do eggs, we can... Okay. Before we go there... Yeah. We actually have a special treat. This is getting a little bit too much, though, I think. <laughs> Well, we actually have the CEO of oh, L'Oreal yeah. well, online from, yeah. he, uh, and Nicolas, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yes, did you hello. not? Did you not get the memo about the bunny ears? Well, you know, at L'Oreal, we are not so much into bunnies. <laughs> actually, uh, I have a preferred animal, which oh. is the my, my unicornus rex, which is this mix between a dinosaur, sure. a 113 years old company, and a unicorn, which is uh, so involved in tech with you guys. <laughs> Very nice, Nicola. Welcome, well, welcome so much to Dreamforce. We're, how about a huge hand for Nicholas joining us all the way from Europe? Welcome. Nicholas, I'm thrilled to have you. I've been so grateful to get to know you and I'm um, seeing your amazing teams at Viva Tech in France and I'm um, seeing you in Switzerland. Um, you have an incredible brand and you're talking about this transformation coming out of the pandemic, this use of technology, of inclusivity. Tell us your perspective. How has Salesforce helped L'Oreal creating these magical customer experiences? Well, you know, as, as we discussed, uh, beauty is about expressing one's individuality. And the work we're doing with Salesforce, powering our 200 plus D2C sites, having a very made to measure CRM, allows us to bring personalized experiences, services and products to our consumers, like the Perso you saw. And this unique consumer vision uh, allows us to be extremely effective. And I really want to thank you for being with us on that transformation. Well, Nicolas, I am so grateful that you took the time to video conference all the way from France. Thank you for letting us tell the L'Oreal story, and thank you that you're for what you're doing for all of us as consumers of your products. Thank Nicholas, you so we're much. We're so grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Pleasure we being love with your you. Products. Amazing. Great to see you. Oh, good to see you. So, all right. Uh, <laughs> I can't get over looking at you. Right. The, the well, you know, this is going to be this is our new reality. It's a new day, Brett. So we only have two more hours left in the keynote. <laughs> I'm kidding. This is. Uh, I just want to end by saying this really is an amazing new day for all of us. When I talked about empowerment, Dreamforce is about empowering each other with new tools and great stories like yours, Seema, to let us know that we can go back to our organizations, make change, build magical experiences, save our companies money. We are so grateful for everyone making the trip to San Francisco. And also, can we give a, a thank you to everyone online as well, Mark? Absolutely. And it's a new day. We're excited. We couldn't be more thrilled. We're going to have an amazing week here in San Francisco. 
And uh, look, we're going to have some fun, right? We are going to have a lot of fun. We have yeah. a concert tonight. Oh, uh, yeah. Fitz and the Tantrums is playing tonight. Oh, wow, fantastic. Um, we have a Genie keynote at 10.30 yeah. a.m. On, uh, on Thursday. And I hear there's a big band playing in uh, the park tomorrow. Can't Who's wait that to see Flea and Anthony. Flea and Anthony tomorrow. So thank you, everyone. Dreamforce, 20th anniversary. Thank you so Great. much. Welcome to San Francisco. Thank you.